Today morning, the Nifty 50 index opened at 25,030, marking the first time it has crossed the 25,000 mark. Impressively, it took just 24 sessions for Nifty to move from 24,000 to 25,000, making this the third fastest 1,000 point rally in its history. The fastest 1,000 point surge was recorded in August 2021, when Nifty climbed from 16 to 17,000 in just 19 trading sessions. Additionally, the BSE Sensex reached a new milestone by crossing the 82,000 mark for the first time ever. Curious to know what's fueling this surge and what it means for your investments? Stick around because we're diving into the details of this record-breaking rally. Now let's understand what's behind this rally. The recent rise in the Nifty 50 index resulting in its crossing the 25,000 mark can be largely attributed to the decisions made by the US Federal Reserve. The US Fed monetary policy significantly impacts global financial markets. In its July meeting, the Fed maintained interest rates at their current level of 525 to 5.5% for the eighth consecutive time and hinted at a potential rate cut in near future. This outlook has generated optimism among investors worldwide. While the US Federal Reserve's stance has been the primary catalyst, it is also important to note other contributing factors such as the resilience of the Indian economy and positive investor sentiment which have played a crucial role in markets upward trajectory. Let's understand how Fed rates impact the Indian stock market. The Federal Reserve has maintained its key interest rate at 5. 25 to 5.5%, acknowledging some progress towards its 2% inflation target. The 10-year US Treasury yields have fallen to 4.03%, the lowest in six months following comments from the Fed Chair Jerome Powell after easing price pressures and the potential for a rate cut. With US retail inflation nearing the Fed's 2% target in recent months, there is growing anticipation that the Federal Reserve might start reducing interest rates from September 2024. As per the latest data, US inflation in June fell to 3%. When the Federal Reserve announces rate cuts, foreign investors tend to increase their investments in emerging markets like India in a lookout for better investments. Now, what are some positive factors for the Indian economy in the near term? First, there is an expectation of political stability now that the Lok Sabha election are over, which is promoting a sense of confidence among investors. Secondly, the steady decline in the 10-year US bond yields is another favorable factor. This decline has made Indian markets more attractive to foreign portfolio investors who have turned into significant buyers. Anticipation of increased foreign capital inflows into India this year is also high, driven primarily by the Federal Reserve's move towards an easier monetary policy. According to the data from the National Securities Depository Limited, foreign institutional investors have invested Rs 35,566 crores in domestic equities this calendar year alone, with substantial purchases in June and July amounting to Rs 26,565 crore and Rs 32,365 crore respectively. Additionally, India's strong domestic macroeconomic fundamentals are contributing to the positive outlook. The Indian economy showcased robust GDP growth of 7.8% in the fourth quarter of financial year 24, surpassing market expectations and reinforcing investor confidence. Nifty's recent surge is a positive sign for the Indian stock market. Looking ahead, if the US Federal Reserve lowers interest rate as expected, it could further boost the Indian market by attracting more foreign investments. Having said that, this is Aditi Priya signing off. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.